Now the super champions. Patriots fans continue to celebrate last night's comeback victory against the Seattle Seahawks. And we have some breaking news right now. We have just confirmed that Boston Mayor Marty Walsh has moved the victory parade from tomorrow to Wednesday at 10 a.m. Again, that victory parade now has been moved to Wednesday at uh, 11 a.m. in Boston. Now. Most Super Bowl 49 celebrations were peaceful, but there were no arrests in Boston overnight, but police made several arrests at URI after some students got a little rowdy. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in the studio now with what she's learned. Mike, when the game ended, about 800 students poured out of residence halls to celebrate. The vast majority of them were cheering and celebrating and completely peaceful, but we've learned six students were arrested and are now facing all kinds of charges, including simple assault, disorderly conduct and vandalism. Trash cans tipped over and shattered lights, all caused by rowdy fans celebrating the Patriots Super Bowl victory. Glass was going everywhere. Adam Schmuder is a junior at URI. When time expired on the game clock, he grabbed his GoPro and went outside. Right when the game was over, all the students ran outside cheering, uh, celebrating, cheering Go Pats. Unfortunately, uh, what started out as a celebration uh, quickly became destructive. In the video Adam captured, you can see people shooting off fireworks. Then snowballs start flying, taking out several lights. One student even ripped out a signpost. I'd say most people outside were just bystanders, but maybe it was a classic case of mob mentality. A spokesperson for URI tells Eyewitness News four students were arrested by URI police, two by South Kingstown police. The dean of students sent us a statement saying in part, the actions of a few members of the group are deplorable. I assure you that those found to be culpable by the criminal justice process and our own student conduct process will face severe consequences. Several police officers suffered minor injuries during the incident, but they will all be okay. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.